Day two of the final qualifying round of the 2023 13 Fishing Bass Pro Series was on Lake Sinclair and it was magnificent weather. Dead calm days for both days. A um, lot of anglers won the tournament by fishing sort of up the arms, fishing the points, fishing a little bit shallow with the small plastic. But as usual, I get distracted by my live scope, found some suspended fish in the middle of the lake and learned how to catch them on two pound line and stick minnows, something I normally use for brim, uh, but that slow rolling retrieve, watching the fish behave on the live scope, got the retrieve down pat and caught around a dozen fish for the day. The modification that I did make, however, was to add a couple of small atomic sticky weights to the bottom of that lure to let it sink a little bit quicker. A lot of the fish were suspended between 20 and 30 feet down, and it takes a while for that lure to get down into the fish. First fish. Single fish sniped it. On the sticky. Racing to it. And ate it. Everything fights good on two pound. In the peck fin, that's what he's hooked in. Basically pulling him in backwards. And they're always hard to net. It should be legal. Hooked him in the fin. Looks like it was in his face and it came out and hit him in the fin on the way back. These guys look like they're gonna eat it. That was fun. There's about 15 fish there. As soon as it hit the water surface, they were up looking for it. Again, not a giant, but that's legal number two for today in three casts. There's a big pack of them all up shallow. The shallower they are, the more chance they got of chomping your lure, I reckon. School 90 feet out. One of the things I learned over this couple of days of open water fishing in St. Clair is that the further the fish are from the boat, the more likely they are to have a go at your lure. I first see these fish when they're nearly 100 feet away from their boat. You can just see the shadow of the, the stick minnow sinking down, sort of behind the fish, the boat's drifting towards them. It looks like they're swimming at the boat, but we're actually just drifting towards them. The fish here are now coming up to that slow rolled stick minnow. First, one or two fish, but uh, eventually four or five. And the more they get interested in it, the more chance they have a whack in it. And uh, then they race up and eat the stick minnow. That one ate it. The ones that come up fast from down deep are the ones most likely to eat it. Probably my biggest one for the weekend so far, and it's probably only 35 centimetres. <laughs> nice. <laughs> cool, finally got a half decent one out of there. And he has swallowed that bait whole. Look at him here. About 60 feet out. You can see two shows of fish here on the live scope. The ones that are about 20 to 30 feet out, um, I think they know the boat's there, but the ones that are further out, they're the ones that are sort of in their resting state. So I'm always fishing the fish further away from the boat. Now, as that stick, stick minnow sinks down, you can see at the far side of that school, there's a few fish that are interested. And as I start working it up, some fish chase it, and other fish drop down. You know, the fish that drop down obviously don't want it. Check out the fish that are following it up. It's like a line of fish that are following after it. And then some of the close fish to the boat go out and get interested as well, and, and finally one eats it. Now it's getting easy. Massive school of fish there. Just kept on slow rolling it till one decided from 10, 15, 20 foot down that he wanted it. More than the other ones. 
still got a school of fish following him. I don't know if that's gonna upgrade a little one, but if it is, it's only by a little centimeter or so. That's the fifth fish for today. Little Sinclair bass. There it is, dropping right into them at 70 feet. They're coming up for it, looking at it. That was him eating it. You see that on the scope? <laughs> that was cool. Just the slow roll seems to be what's getting them. Got to get them interested. And once they're interested, they slow roll. It's got a head shake on this one. One of the cool things about this sort of fishing is you can, look how flat it is. Everyone's running around the lake looking for wind. I don't mind the calm. Well, I'll take you through the tackle I'm using at the moment. This is my lightest of my light brim rods. It's a Daiwa in feet, seven and a half foot. It's got a little, few th is it 2000 Luvius? 2500 LT S for shallow spools. Got two pound fluorocarbon on it, straight through. And I've got a stick me now on the end that I've weighted with a bit of extra weight just to get it down a little quicker. Um, and we're rolling it through these bass. We're finding them out. The most susceptible ones are 60 to 90 feet out on the live scope. And, uh, sink it into them when they're interested, sort of get that slow roll. This will be an upgrade, this one. Might be another one of those mid 35 centimeter fish. Definitely not the fish I need to win this tournament. I'm coming last of the people at quarter limit. But I'm gonna improve my weight a lot today, I think. And all of this homework on how to catch these difficult fish on difficult days is gonna come in useful, I reckon. This one should be an upgrade of some sort. There you go, that's a three or four centimetre upgrade right there. I'll show you the lure. All right. That's the, it's an Ostackle stick minnow, just weighted with the lead at the bottom. Really fine little hooks that hook up nice and easily. Upgrade number two. Fish there 75 feet out, straight ahead. Here they come. Who wants it? Oh, one ate it. There he is. You see him load up? <laughs> That's becoming easy today. Pile out here. You can see him coming at it now at 80, 90 feet. Look at him racing up to it. There he is. One of them ate it. There's Malura at 6570 dropping into him. So I'm coming to have a look. Slow roll going. There he was, swam up and ate it. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it is sight fishing underwater. This one feels alright, it's arcing a bit. Which is down there. He's got 30 of his mates with him at the moment.
That's the first one that's eaten it on the drop. Just opened its mouth and ate it. That one ate it on the drop as well. I like it when they eat it on the drop. Patch of fish 75 foot out. Another one on the drop. You're going to eat it just straight down your throat. One fish sniped him. Chunked it though. Chunked it down the pie hole.